with the examples. So before this, we have discussed the theoretical steps in order to design a basic low pass filter. So we start with the uh, design of low pass filter. Basically, we, the, we determine the number of order. Then we design the, uh, the normalized uh, prototype circuit. And then after that, we do the impedance and frequency scaling. So then looks at this uh, for this first example. Example number one, design a maximally flat low pass filter with a cutoff frequency of 2 gigahertz with impedance of 50 ohm and at least 15 dB insertion loss at 3 gigahertz. Compute and plot the amplitude response and group delay for F equivalent to 0 to, to 4 gigahertz and compare with equal ripple, 3 dB ripple and linear phase filter having the same order. So this the question is from the microwave engineering book. But we'll discuss uh, about the uh, the first step statements. Okay, the first step, we need to determine the number of order uh, of the maximally flat low pass filter. So here we look at the, uh, the graph for the maximally flat. So here we determine the omega over omega c minus 1. So in this case, omega over omega c minus 1 is equivalent to 3 divided by 2 minus 1. So we get the 1.5 minus 1. So we get the 0 0.5. So from this graph, we take the 0 0.5. And we also need to determine the, uh, the insertion loss. Insertion loss given here is 15 dB. So here we take the graph of 0 0.5 until approximately 15 dB. So the 15 dB in the middle. Okay. So here, N that we want is located between N equivalent to 4 and N equivalent to 5. It said that we need at least 15 dB of insertion loss. So here, if we choose n equivalent to 4, whether it meets uh, it is meet the specification or not. So of course not. If we choose n equivalent to 4, so the attenuation will be less than 15 dB. So in order to get more than 15 dB, so we need to choose n equivalent to 5, which is the higher number of order. So here, we choose n equivalent to 5. So next step. Step number 1. Next step, we draw the, the normalized prototype circuit. We already know that. Uh, we already know. So this is, the, this is not the normalized. The normalized prototype circuit. Okay, so you have the five elements, which is capacitor, inductor, capacitor again, inductor, capacitor again, and the load. So in this case, RS equivalent to RL, which is equivalent to 1. And here we put the value of G1, G2, G3, G4, G5. We label it. And then we look in order to find the value of G, we need to look the values of maximally flat low pass filter. In this case, N equivalent to 5. Okay. So we have the G1 equivalent to 
zero point one six eight, then one point six one eight and uh, two one point six one eight and zero point six one eight. So the taken from this tables. So that settle the step number two in determine the uh, basic uh, normalized prototype circuit for the low pass filter. Next step, again, you need to draw the actual circuit. So actual circuit is like this. So normally you have uh, multiply it with the impedance scaling and frequency scaling. So since that it is maximally flat, RS is equivalent to RL. And here is we chosen that the impedance of R0 is 50 ohm. So RS is equivalent to 50 ohm and RL is equivalent to 50 ohm for this maximally flat low pass filter. So next step is to calculate the actual value of capacitor and inductor. So we need to refer all the formula for the capacitor and inductor. So the, for the capacitor, so we just need to replace this. Okay, C1 prime equivalent to C1 divided by omega C over R0. So C1 is the value of G1 here. So you will have the 0 0.168 divided by omega c is a 2 pi f uh, f c 2 gigahertz times 2 pi times 50 so you will get this value of C1 and so on and for the L1 not L1 L2 okay you can calculate that L2 is equivalent to R0 50 times LK is the G2 a G2 1.618 divided by omega 2 pi times 2 times giga 10 to the power of 9. So you get the value of L2 prime is 6.438 nano Henry and so on. So don't forget to label it in the actual circuit for all the value of C1, C3, C5 prime, and L2 and L4 prime when you calculate. So this circuit will function as the low pass filter with the frequency response of low pass filter, something like this. the incessant loss at 3 gigahertz and this is the cutoff frequency at 2 gigahertz so next we proceed with example number two so now we design the 3 db equal ripple low pass filter So here we use the 3 dB equal ripple uh, low pass filter with a cutoff frequency of 2 gigahertz and 3 gigahertz issues on loss at 15 dB with a 50 ohm impedance level. So it's the same question uh, as before except that this is for the 3 dB equal ripple. The same as before Okay, we need to determine the number of order. And here for equal ripple 3 dB, we still need to use the omega over omega C minus 1 formula. 
So here we have the 3 divided by 2 minus 1. So you will have a 0 0.5. We take the 0 0.5 here. Okay. With a 15 dB. And it falls at this point which is between n equivalent to 2 and n equivalent to 3. As, um, as an example before, we need to choose the number of order higher. So in this case, it, it is approximately 2.7. Uh, so we need to use the higher number of order, which is n equivalent to 3. Okay, we have determined the number of order. So next step, we need to draw the okay, n equivalent to 3. Number two steps, we need to determine, to draw the, the prototype circuit. So here, we already know that Okay, it has a n equivalent to 3. Okay, so it only has uh, 3 components with the RL. So this RS and RL equivalent to 1 because it, it is uh, even an uh, odd number of order. Okay. So here we label it either as C1, C3, and L2. And we take the value of G1 equivalent to C1, L2 equivalent to G2, and L3, uh, G3 equivalent to C3. Okay, G3 value uh, equivalent to G1. So C1 e equivalent to C3. And RL here is 1. Okay, so that's the second step, which is the to design the low pass filter normalized prototype. Step number 3 is to get the actual value of the low pass filter. So here again, we draw the circuit for the actual value. So don't be so lazy to for not drawing the circuit. Okay. So after drawing, we label it. We have the RS prime, RL prime, C1 prime, C3 prime, and L2 prime. And next, we calculate the impedance, which is the RS prime equivalent to RL prime. In this case, because of G4 is equivalent to 1 because of the odd number. So here, RS prime equivalent to RL prime equivalent to R0, which is 50 ohm. So here, so you have calculate, you have labeled it. So this is the value of the source impedance and the load impedance. So next, we calculate the capacitor and inductor value. So the same formula, okay. So C1 is equivalent to C3 prime. So we include the frequency and impedance scaling. So C over omega C and R0. So we just include the value here. At the cutoff frequency, so we get the 5.33 picofarad. And for the inductor here, so we have the R0 multiplied by L2 divided by omega C. So we get the inductor value. So here we have managed to design a Low pass filter 
equal ripple with uh, uh, 3 dB equal ripple. So here, if we look at the uh, both examples, if we want to draw the graph of the attenuation, we can see that, okay, let's say this the red, the graph. So this is the graph for the maximally flat with cutoff frequency of 2 gigahertz and attenuation at 3 gigahertz with the minus 15 dB or 15 dB of attenuation. So this is 0 dB. So this is the uh, attenuation amplitude. This is the frequency. So this is for the maximally flat. For the graph of the 3 dB equal ripple, so it will have a, a ripple of 3 dB here and with a sharp cutoff frequency and almost the same attenuation here for this uh, 3 dB equal ripple. So that's the frequency response for both comparison between the low pass filter, maximally flat and equal ripple. So that's all for the example.